Hey everybody on Facebook. Just waiting for it to come on YouTube. All right, we're on live on YouTube. Hi everyone. Hmm. Hit the wrong button. Hi, look, my antlers. I got them from Michael's. They match my hair. How cute is that? So welcome to day two of 12 days of Christmas. I'm still alive and not totally exhausted, but I might be near the end of this. Um, so bear with me. Uh, hi everybody. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Facebook and we're live on Twitch. I can see all your comments in all of them. So hello to everybody. And if you, um, I'm going to be ironing on today. We're going to iron on a bag. Let me show you the project. Um, go over here. So this is a project. If you watch my videos and my class videos, we designed this all together in design space with images that were in access. So we took some images. The ears came from a giraffe. And so I said I would share that. And then I thought, well, let's add something to it. And then I thought, oh, instead of dashing through the snow, let's say dashing through the stores. And this could be a sweatshirt or t-shirt or something to wear when you're shopping for Christmas. Or on a bag, we're gonna put it on a bag today, a shopping bag, so you can make it. And uh, somebody just said in the chat on YouTube before we actually started, they're going to make it for some gifts for some friends. Like, I, I just love that dashing through the stores. And I was not, I didn't see that anywhere. Usually I get inspiration from something I see and I make it my own. But I thought, it just came to me, dashing through the stores. So we're going to make this in Design Space. If you have the file, I also have it in here saved in another way this no nope, that one's just those that I made from free images um in here if you turn maybe it's this one no nope, that's just that oh I bet it's this group there it is so here it is you can ungroup this and if you're this one is not sliced at all so these are all on top of each other so I wanted to make it so you can resize this. If you just want to use this, uh, you can do that. Make it out of paper and put it on a card or whatever you want to do. Um, this one I sliced, so it wasn't too many layers. I did not slice the green onto the um, antlers or the ears, but I did slice the berries, so they will be one. I also attached the red pieces together and the green so they will all work together it does waste more vinyl that way you are welcome to take the file and detach anything you want to you can do that you can change the colors you can make it yours okay so if you follow me on if you support me on patreon or facebook fan page or YouTube members, you already have this file. All you have to do if you want to make it like this is click the make it button, which you can't see in video. So all you have to do is click the make it button and it will cut it out for you. That's how most of my projects work. If you're not familiar with my Cricut Design Space projects that I share with my supporters, you don't have to really do anything but click make it for most of them. Sometimes you might want to change a font or something. And you can do that. So let's get started. And so I have everything weeded out. Let me move this so you can. There we go. You can see more. I have everything weeded out, all everything except for the green piece. So for those of you not familiar, <clears throat> with vinyl or weeding. Oh, Connie, that would be cute on a glass front door. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas, share them with us. Uh, 
Oh, and so this is the, it's called the piercing tool. I just opened up my tools I got from the holiday mystery box. I already have one in here somewhere, but I'm like, well, I know exactly where this one is and I'm going to open them because I like to have more than one tool of each tool, you know, for those times when I can't find it or it's on another desk. So this is the piercing tool. You can use it to stab holes in paper or other things. I don't suggest to stab people with it because that would hurt them. Hi, Ian. Uh, so I'm just going to grab the corner. And just take this off. Do you have any questions so far that Jamie's not already answering in the chat? And the chat, if you're watching on Facebook and you see the chat in the video, that chat is coming from YouTube. And if you hear snoring, that is Kobe and Carly, my dogs. Just be happy they're snoring and not barking. So I'm using the Cricut Everyday Iron-On. Yes, Sheila, you can, oh, you guys, today is the last day of the sale. You can still get the holiday mystery box and you can get it half price. If you add enough stuff to your um, cart, you can get the mystery boxes half price. So get the Thanksgiving mystery box. It has premium vinyl, premium permanent vinyl that I have had on a glass. Okay, I don't even need this tool. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding it. Uh, I've had it on a glass um, in the dishwasher for like 20 loads so far, and it's kind of intricate, and it's still on the glass. Oops. And I'm gonna, well, I don't have this on. Let's turn the easy press on thanks donna um we're gonna go to easy press settings because i'm going to show you a trick on how to weed this easier and faster than what i just did okay this is um the quick the Cricut Easy Press Interactive Quick Reference Guide. There is a link to this below in the description of the video. This is an amazing tool. Okay, I'm going to select my Everyday Iron On. That's what I'm using. And then I'm going to select my material. So I am using Canvas. I'm going to pick, it's a canvas bag, so we're going to pick this one. And I'm using Cricut Easy Press Mat. So the temp is preheat for five seconds. You guys, I have to remember that. I forget that every time. Set to 340, preheat five seconds, gentle pressure for 30 seconds. That means you don't have to push on it very hard. Um, flip the material over, do for 15 seconds. Peel off warm. This means warm, not hot. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the easy press on. And please put your questions in all caps. Uh, it's the premium permanent vinyl that is great in the dishwasher. Okay, 
Uh, we're gonna turn it on. I'm using the big Easy Press 2, the 10 by 12, uh, because the project is, I think it's just over nine inches. If you, uh, you can make it smaller, you just drag the corner of it and make it as small as you want. Um, how many, it says 30 seconds. So I, I don't remember what this was set to. Did anyone see that? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 30 seconds instead of 50, because it kept my last settings, and I think I was using uh, pattern iron-on, because I think for pattern iron it, it is 50 seconds. Okay, whoops, gotta move the whole thing, not just. Okay, um, so here's my trick. Let me throw this away. We're all sideways. Okay, my trick is to heat this up first. I'm gonna heat the mat up just a little bit. And then press this on it and it helps it come off really easy like if you just heat it up just a little and when you're cutting when you're weeding this I cut out little parts, I sliced it, and there's tiny little lines here. Like, see that little line? You can just like peel that off. That does not need to be there. We don't want that there. Okay, we got another circle here. Because those little circles there are where the berry goes. See how he sliced out the circle so we won't be layering too much on top of each other? And it's hard for me to read questions and do this at the same time. So there's people in the chat asking questions. And if you're on Facebook, we'll try to answer your questions too after the video. If you're on YouTube, uh, if no one answers your question, you can comment after the video is available to comment on when it's over. Oh, and uh, Cricut has new paper, new solid colored cardstock, and I have it all. Here's my question. Do you want me to do a video after this video and show you the colors? Because you get, they're like packs of different greens and reds so you can actually see them instead of just looking at them on the site. Is that a yes or a no for doing a video after this one? Yes, you can only use the credit on the website, not in design space. Okay, that's a yes for the video. Good, because I wanted to show you because they're so much fun. And you know how I like fun. And Cricut did not send me the papers. I purchased them the day I found them and shared them with all of you.
So when weaving, you just pick out the inside of the letters. If you don't know what weeding is, it's like weeding your yard. You're taking out the things you don't want. And I just use this tool and kind of go sideways. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys subscribe during this video, you'll see your name on the screen. Yes, you do get your access discount when you buy through Design Space. That's a great question. All right, we're all weeded. Um, I feel like I need to tell you something else too. Oh, the giveaway. Did you guys know I'm giving away a one year of premium access? Who knew that? Okay, so this bag, I think there's a link in the description to buy the bag under materials used, maybe. This is a canvas tote I got from Amazon. I buy them in packs, I think, of 12 for the packs. The digital credit does not work on Easy Press. It only works on digital images and fonts. Okay, so also inside this bag, I have, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I got to do it on the side because <laughs> this is the top of the mat. I have an Easy Press mat. This is the 12 by 12 Easy Press mat. I just ordered some extra Easy Press mats today. I think I've ordered every day. But you get them for 50% off. If you put one of each of the mats in your cart, or maybe even just the two largest ones, because I think that's all I bought, because I already have an extra little one, um, you get them for 50% off. And you use my code and you get another 10%. And if you have access, you get another 10%. Uh, Glenda, let me see your comment. I just finished my Cricut order. It was over $150 subtotal, but I only paid $75. Woohoo! Yes, the sales are amazing. So if you want to enter my giveaway, okay, I'm going to remember, and we're going to preheat this for five seconds. So I'm just going to put this on here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I have to look at my image. So I go to Design Space. I have to look at my image while I'm doing it. And I can see that my green is on top of my brown. So what I'm going to do first is the brown, and then I'm going to do the ears. And then I'll do the green and then I'll do um, the red and then the eyes. Um, so, but I need to lay this all out on here first. So let's do that. Just to make sure we have enough room and we're not putting it too low. Uh, the mystery box, the holiday mystery box has that toolkit. And, okay, here, you are watching let me show you. So it has, has this toolkit, the holiday mystery box, and you can add that to your order and get it half price if you have 75. It has the scissors. It has the rotary. It has these pens and these pens and glitter tape. Somebody says, but I don't use glitter tape or pens. And I'm like, you don't write? You don't have to use these in your Cricut. If you just do vinyl projects, they're really awesome to write with. Give them as gifts for Christmas. They can be used for actually writing with your hand. You can also use this tape for wrapping Christmas presents. Make them glittery. Why not? Okay. Back to the project. Okay. We took so long to do that. I'm going to heat that up again. But first, let's do this. You have to 
watch see this bag has uh has kind of thickness here so anytime that with the seams anytime you have seams like in a baby onesie or anything like that you do not want to put the easy press on that because it will not be even pressure so when you're doing something that has seams like this you want to um, put the easy press only like below that and that is why i have this the extra mat inside because of the bottom of this it's like folded like this so i made sure that the mat was on top of that so this is a smooth surface here yes you can still use your nine by nine easy press okay and i mirrored this image so i we're just going to place this on um just to see where it all is going to go oh wait i don't know where that goes until i put this one on um and this you can pretty much put anywhere i'm going to look at the picture in design space oh wait we have to do the ears first And we're only going to press these on for five, uh, maybe 10 seconds. Okay. And my easy press wants to shut off because I haven't used it. Or, yeah. Okay, come on. So I'm just going to turn that back on. Oh, wait. Is this right? No, this way. And then this. Okay, so this is good. I don't have to put everything else on. I just wanted to make sure I did not go too low and put it below the bottom of the bag. So I'm, I'm pretty good here. So we're going to press this for five seconds, heat the bag up. gonna lay this on and I'm gonna center it between these two things as much as I can so I'm just gonna put this on for like five ten seconds wasn't long enough oh it's not long enough again I messed up the ear. Hold on, little ear. I should have waited. have another one cut out if I need it all right we'll just let it sit here no the 50% off is excluded from bulk and um, 
I'm going to let this cool. It's excluded from bulk. Anything that plugs in and access, you cannot get the 50% off. You can on the, on the cuddle bug. Now know that this is not on long enough. And I did that because I'm gonna be putting these other pieces on. And I just noticed I forgot to weed out this E. Where'd my tool go? Look, I left the middle of the E in. Good thing I caught that. Okay, what were we gonna do next? The ears. So I don't know if this ear over here is gonna line up perfectly. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut these apart. Because this one got messed up. And you know what? I don't know if she mirrored this one. Does this one fit? No. That one's shorter. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Whoops. I just came undone. Stick down. There we go. Now we have to cover up this up here that we've already done. So I'm going to use my Cricut protective sheet this is uh by cricut this these are only a few dollars especially when you get it half off so we're gonna put this down i'm gonna lay this down let's do like 10 seconds uh fatima um for knowing when to do Different ones do cool peel. And um, the interactive heat guide, interactive, yeah, heat settings will it's not long enough. Help you with that. It tells you. And I have learned when they say warm peel, that doesn't mean hot peel like I just tried to do. So I'm going to let this cool for a minute before I take this off. Yes, I always show what the mystery boxes are. You can also sign up for my email list. There's a link in the description of the video on YouTube. Doesn't this look cute already? Oh, we might have to do it longer. I'm gonna do it longer. Whoops, let's do this. Let's just do the time. Yes, the whole design is supposed to be mirrored. So you have to mirror each uh, one. Would you guys like to see how to do that? So we're going to go to make it. And so you just click here. And then when you click here, you have to do each one. And then you'll hit continue. Uh, 
Um, the 50% off does not work on machines and it does not work on bulk, which includes the flat sheets of vinyl. So the vinyl 20 packs, they consider that bulk. So the discounts will not work on that. Okay, let's take this off now. All right, next we're going to do the green, right? Hold on, I have to cancel this so I can go back and see the picture. All put together. Okay. Yep, we're gonna put the green down. So the green, you can just really place anywhere you want to do it. It doesn't matter um, where you put it. I'm... Mm -hmm. Just gonna place it right there. We're gonna put this on. Put this on. Thank you, Louise. I'm gonna let this cool before I pull it off. Not cool, just be warm and not hot. That's one of those things I learned on my own. It says warm peel. No one said to let it cool. Janet is asking, what is the protective mat called? Can't find it online. It's called the protective mat. <laughs> um, I don't think I have a link to that one below. Um, let me show you while this is cooling. Um, go to... I don't remember where it's at. Is it in basic for vinyl? Hmm. Here it is. Protective mat. So I went to accessories and then I went to other and I went to the second page. Oh, and they also have the Cricut cartridge adapter is back in stock that all these things are 50% off if you have $75 in your cart. You don't have to actually spend $75. People are spending like $30. Okay, now let's do the red. So the red, we're gonna line up with these holes up here. 
So I have sliced out holes for the berries. And I'm lining those up. And then I'm also looking here, because we have one there. So that looks good. It's really easy to line up. We're gonna put this here. We're just gonna let it go, it's time. Now we only have two more things to put on. And I think I can do those in one time. So we only have one more time left. Okay, now we're letting this cool. Uh, Jolene's asking, what's the backing you put on fabric to make them adhesive? I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, there's, I didn't, I'm not using fabric. I didn't do any of that. But uh, there's, I forget the word. What's the word? There's heat and bond you can put on them. Uh, Cricut sells fabric that already has adhesive on it for iron-on. Nicole says on Facebook, I placed two orders last night. I was on the fence about the cuddle bug, but how can you pass it up at that sale? Yeah, you've never been able to get this. The cuddle bug is on sale and half price. At least it was last time I looked. Artsy, that might have been an accident. No, you don't need to, to press on the front and back for each item, you do it when you're all done. If you do it for each item, you're probably heating it too much. For one reason, we're heating it more than it uh, says for this. And you can put the eyes anywhere you want. That choice is up to you. Let me look at my picture. Oh, I'm put, am I, I'm doing them wrong. See, I thought they looked different. I was gonna put them like this, which actually, it, I think it looks okay that way. But this is how they were made to look. And, oh, wait a minute. Where's the, okay, this other little piece, it's just a little white piece on the nose. So I'm gonna place that on there first. So it's under this plastic. Okay, now let's lay this down. Oh, we can't lay it over the eye. So I'm gonna cut this. We do not wanna iron onto plastic. I've done it before. Learn from your mistakes. <laughs> there we go. Isn't it so cute? Thank you, Amanda Ray on Facebook. She says, big fan of your crafting videos. Wouldn't this be a great Christmas gift? Okay, this is our last time, then we'll flip it. Thank you. 
Thanks for subscribing, Kathy. So after this video, if you guys just joined us, I'm going to do another video. Okay, let's let this cool. I'm going to do another video and show you the brand new paper. Do you want a sneak peek? Here's one pack, and it uh, this actually looks more yellow on the screen, but it has like different tones of browns, which I think would be great for skin tones. It's still hot. Actually, let's go ahead and just turn it over. Now, I have this on there. I'm just gonna take that off. We're gonna do 15 seconds. Set for 30, but I, I know 15 is half of that. Actually, this uh, Everyday Iron-On is guaranteed by Cricut. If you put it on correctly and follow the rules, it is guaranteed. It does not come off in the wash. I'm going to let that cool. And then we're all done. There is community on YouTube. I have a community section, and that where is where the YouTube members get the files. I can show you that real fast. Um, let me go to YouTube. Let me show you guys how to find YouTube. Let me lower this. Okay, so I just searched in Google for YouTube. This is where it brought me. And then I'm going to search Melody Lane. And click here. This will take you to my page. So this is my community page. It's not on iPad yet. So if you join my community, You'll see this is members only. If you're not a member, you will not even see this post. You'll see this one. But if you're a member, you see this post and you have to click on read more and then the file is in there. The design space files that I share are, are um, they're just Cricut design space projects. All you don't download them. All you do is click on them and it opens up Design Space, and you can save the project. Okay, let's go back over. So you can do that by supporting me on my Facebook fan page on Patreon or YouTube. I think we're good. Woohoo! now the bag is done. And these, the brown colors were in one pack, a sampler pack of Everyday Iron-On from Cricut, one of the sampler packs. So now you can take this shopping, you can make it a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. And my files are only Cricut Design you Space. Are there are a few SVGs, but not a lot of SVGs, just so you know. Are there any questions? Um, on Facebook, we have a question. What's the fabric board you put on the back while heating. 
Okay, I use the Easy Press Mat. I have a the biggest Easy Press Mat, and this is the medium one. But uh, this is an Easy Press Mat. This is not like any other mat. This has many different layers that do different things. It helps put the heat back up to your project. It protects your table and it just helps things stick when you're doing it. It's an amazing, if you can't afford an easy press, but you still do an iron on with your iron, I suggest getting one of these too. It will work with an iron or anything. It really helps and protects my table. That's all I have underneath my, whoops. Thank you, Artsy. This is all I have underneath my, this is a Cricut self-healing mat, the purple decorative one. And then I have this and I've been pressing this on a lot and it doesn't harm the mat or anything. It does? Penny, thank you for telling me that. She says every time. You are watching. Let me. Lane. Okay. I, did, I can't hear my song. And it wasn't playing the video, so I didn't think it was playing. So thank you for telling me that. Uh, I didn't know that. I turned it off now. And um, because I got more members yesterday and today, I'm gonna be adding another emoji. On YouTube, you get to use my emojis. Let me show them to you. On Facebook, if you support me, you get a special badge on Facebook when you um, comment in my groups or on my page. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to come back in a few minutes and we're going to open my packs of paper. I haven't even opened them all. Okay. Let's change that. I haven't opened any of them. None. I haven't had time. I have some things, more projects to cut and test for the 12 days of Christmas till All right, guys, I will see you in a few minutes. Love you. And tomorrow we have another project, which I still have to work on. So I, I, I don't get a day off. So I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Where do you enter the giveaway? On my Facebook fan page. Um, I think I have a link here open to it. Yes. So I'm going to post this in the YouTube chat. Welcome, Maureen. Thank you for becoming a member. Let's wait for your little cheerleader cricket to pop up. Then we'll go. Uh, what color do you suggest to place on inside the ear? If you don't have that color, um... If you have any color, thanks Connie, any color of beige or maybe white, if you don't have anything else, uh, maybe pink, like a pale pink or something for the inside of the ear. And in the file, you can change the color of the ear to see what it looks like. And also remember, if you're putting it on a white bag, it might be harder to see if it's white. And, um, but if you're putting on a different color shirt, white would be fine too. I would just put it something on lighter than the top part of the ear. Cindy's working today. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and we'll see you in just a little bit.